Hey guys, it's me Meaner. Here we are back to Kirby and the Amazing Mirror for the final time before the final boss. And thankfully, this time I'm Red Kirby and there's no identity crisis going on because the other Kirbys are nowhere near me. As you can tell, I also have the Smash ability, which is cool. Because I figure, just like any Metroidvania, the last area should always be something to just breeze through, something fierce, just like kill everything with. And this is the closest thing to a screw attack we have, so why not? Let's go ahead and use it. Besides, there's something else we need to actually grab that we need a hammer or a rock for. Hey, a better time than the present, right? Either way, pretty much we're going down here, just making our way full circle now. Let's look at all these things we can break. Pretty awesome. Duck underneath that Gordo, because Gordos are going to be very fierce. Don't want to touch any Gordos at all, they could be bad. Actually, I'll wait for you to come back to the other side. There are no invincibility frames as far as I'm aware of, so, well, I guess there are. There's this. That's an invincibility frame. It doesn't really help against this. Either way, you'll notice sparks everywhere. Ooh. Either way, we go inside this door, and that's actually where we want to go right now, to actually get a treasure in here. And now we have Fan Fan. Aw, oh, dang it. I guess I could do this. So look how much damage that does from just that. And you die. I said you die. There we go. Hammer to the face and you die horribly. Yay. And now we're on the other side of this and get 10 health. Now we're not at 10 health. Now over here before we actually got the last spray paint we needed. But now we finally got over to this side and got the treasure we needed last. So there you go. Yay. Now we can continue on our way and have some good fun. Everything die for Final Cutter. Everything die. Oh, that thing got mad. Oh, no bad. No problem for me. Oh, better go down here. Uh huh. Look at this. I can just kill all of you because I'm that awesome. And then we're gonna go over back here, and now we're gonna go back the normal way. Hey, heading that to appear a second time, but either way, we're not heading over to the right. That's our next goal. Well, actually, ironically, well, not ironically, but coincidentally, we're actually going to the next goal we can possibly get. Coincidentally, people tend to mistake irony for coincidental quite often. But either way, that's uh, another story for another day. In the meantime, just making our merry way over here, killing everything in our path, with what is essentially the Kirby version of a screw attack. Let's go in here, get that small treasure there, and we can't go down there anymore. Oh well, let's go inside this door and see what we could get. Instead, we're going to be going over to this side, which I guess will take us to another goal. Hey, whatever, no problem. I need to go back this way anyway, eventually. You'll be making your way back to the same exact spots quite often in this. That's just the way it works. I don't know. Uh, this place is notorious for having to go back around the same place over and over again. Because there are a lot of useless goals that you don't need to actually go into, but you have to for 100%. So there's that, but let's not worry about that right now. That's not our goal. Our main goal is to get to the goal. Ah, haha. <laughs> anyway, you die. Yep. Go in here. And now we're in another goal room. And Candy Constellation here. And here we have Box Boxer. I'm gonna kill you this way. Dang it. No, oh, my smash ability. You know what? I'll do it this way, darn it. Dang it. Stop. Are, you, are the grabs able- I think grabs are actually supposed to get through invincibility frames if I'm not mistaken. Alright, fine. I'll do it this way. I got rid of Smash. That's not going to be good, but whatever. Doesn't matter, because I'll be able to go anyway. We have Fighter. Oh, that's interesting. The headband's actually white if you're a red Kirby. Huh. Who knew? I guess it would blend in too much if it was red. Kind of a neat addition, kind of a small detail there I never noticed until now. Huh, maybe it's a good thing I picked up Fighter so I can show that off. Interesting. Either way, I have 150 seconds to grab as much as we can. And here we have cherries, which I could probably use. Maximum tomato, batteries, one-ups that I missed. Another one that I missed. Come on, give me at least one one-up. I missed every single one-up there is. Wow. Oh well, good job, self. Did I lose my ability? Where'd it go? Where's my headband? I'm sad. I want my headband back. Let me make sure I actually got everything I needed to in Area 9. Okay, everything's flashing. Good. I'll go ahead and meet you back where we need to be in Area 9. Alright, so instead of taking the top path, we're actually going to be taking the down path. And thus, we can now go in here, get a nice little one-up for ourselves. But not just that, we're also heading up here to this spot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab that cherry. 
There we go, back to full health again. Yay! Now there are two paths to take. The up path and the bottom path. Today, or this time, rather, because we're doing this all today, we're taking the bottom path. And I should grab a grab bullet for burning while I'm at it. And not lose it immediately. That's always a hopeful thing to do. Either way, these burnings move very fast. These little flamers move super fast. Actually, I think I need to actually grab a beam, if I'm not mistaken. Go over here, head back down, and grab a beam. Yes, I need to grab a beam because if I notice th mm. Stop. You die. If you notice, there's actually a spot right here we can actually kill off. Or not kill off, but actually knock down. There we are. And it unlocks that spot underneath. But we need beam to actually reach that spot. So by the way, dang it. Stupid flamers move super quick in this area. Look how quick they move. Not even fair. Well, whatever. We get a one up in there. So that's always nice, I guess. That's, that's something. Stupid thing. Okay, but yeah, we're picking up this path, which is taking us to... Yes, this is actually taking us to the map area. Grab this flamer right here. It'll save you a lot of heartache. Okay, better idea. Grab this flame right here, and instead of trying to run it, just dash. There we go. That works out a lot better. I think you just dash through that, get a max potato there, and then, come on, can I at least do something right? There we are. Sword, whatever. I'll just blast past you. How much HP do you have? Whatever. I'll take sword then. Sword is also fine, I guess. Uh, hold on. Okay, gotta play this game here. Gotta do that. And, uh... Hit that. And voila! We now have the map of Candy Constellation. As you can tell, there's another goal right there. But that actually takes us as a linear path up to the boss. But right now we're heading to this goal over here. So that's nice. There's actually nothing else in this goal, so it's because it's flashing. So therefore we're good on anything else we need to actually get to worry about. Uh, I was gonna forgot the invisibility frames there. And actually, I'll grab that because hammer is much better than sword. There we go. Now I have all the invisibility frames I want. Always a nice thing. Either way, we can now go in here and get another goal game. Fruits, fruits everywhere. What? Ah, oh, man, I missed two one-ups. Come on. Can I, can I get something, please? Can I at least get one up from either of these goal games to make this at least have some kind of point? No? Uh, Alright, that's cool too. Alright, never mind. Before, I got like 13 one ups from this because instead of those cherries there at the bottom, there were actually one ups and whatever. No big deal, didn't get a single one up from either of those. Yippee. Either way, we'll once again meet you back over there, the top right where that cross section is. Alright, so now we're in this room again, except this time we're actually going to be heading up, so whatever you can, try to reach the up path. So go up this way, and that place isn't taking us anywhere, is it? We can't go back down, so we're going to be taking- actually, yes, this is taking us somewhere. We just have to actually go all the way up there to the top right corner. That's our main goal. So no matter what means we get there, we know where we have to go. So, there's that. There's a lot more, uh, aha, kill that flame before kill me. Take that. Got some meat. And as you can tell, we are now back on our merry way to be at the right spot. You can only take this path if you take the up spot. Otherwise, you're going to be heading right down in that direction. Give me, give me back. Dang it, give me back my swinging... There we go, got the hammer back. Yay. Yay. Get yeah. I was hoping I could get enough invincibility frames to get past all of you. Oh, well, that works. That works overall. Did I miss a treasure? I did not miss a treasure. Alright, so now we're just in here with all these Gordos and lots of breakable blocks everywhere. Be careful, all I can say. Because, well, there's a lots of the- you have to be very careful with your time because there are, as you can tell, lots of enemies everywhere. And, dang it. Wow, sprites slow down much. My gosh. You know what? Let's get on this warp star and get out of here. Because the, uh, the sprites- the sp- nah, the sp- nah, what, what is that called? The, uh, Sprite lag is pretty fierce. Either way, land right on that maximum tomato. And here we are. And we have the master hand up here. Oh wait, no big deal. We fought the master hand before. Not really anything fancy. 
just hurry up and give me your smash ability. And you die. One more. Three more hits. Yep. Pretty much uh, know your bag of tricks by now. Yep, that's not gonna work. Hurry up and give me something to work with. Come on. That works. Alright. Halfway down. Ah, almost got captured by that. But I didn't. So there you go. Yep. Yep, still still doing that. Alright, one more hit. Should be fine. Almost got hit there because I didn't land properly. Ah, wow, well, man, I, I, didn't, I didn't expect that, honestly. My own fault. Up oh, and you're dead. So now you're going to get your smash ability and voila. Very nice. And once again, we're still inside that has no treasure, but it's probably a good idea to keep the smash ability while we still can. Just saying. You die, you die. Everyone dies. Except that Scarfy down there. You know what? You die too. Why not? You also die. You, bro you can blocks can die, you blocks can die. Much better path than... You rocky, giant rocky, get out of my way. Because I know you're going to try to break my power up. Nope. Ah, that was fun. That was satisfying. So much satisfying. Anyway, go in here. And there's a, notice that there's room at the bottom we need to get to. You're not, you're not fooling me, you stupid trap. I don't think so. Alright, you gotta be, gotta play this carefully. Can't play this stupid. There's a lot to mess up here. There's a lot to mess up. There's a door in here. And you'll notice that the way to get that switch up there is do the final cutter and make the door that way. And then we get a nice little music note right there for us. I think that's actually the last one, if I'm not mistaken. And then, uh, let's see, are there any treasures up to that point? I don't think there are, but either way, it's a straight path anyway. All right, sweet. Kept my sash ability all the way through that. Nice. Ooh, you know what? Let's do this old dim style and autos play. Yay! This is so much fun. Just holding down the B button to run. I mean, I mean dash. I mean the uh, wheelie. Yeah. So <laughs> just you just feel the excitement, the rush, the Sonic style rush that you play in these dims games. Ooh, ah, ooh, whoops. Ah, no, no. My UFO. Why? Why'd you do? Ah, good, good. No, get back, get back. Cool, you, flew, you literally flew right in my mouth. Nice, I'm not complaining. Here we have kind of like a little shmup area, which is kind of a cool thing. You see lots of spaceships everywhere, lots of things flying towards us. I kind of like this area a lot. I, th I like the effect, I think the effect is kind of neat. It gives that old shmup style feel of like enemies coming in from the side, you're in a spaceship, just everything's blasting down. You can shoot lasers. Always a fun thing. Come on. Yep. You die as well. No. Give me back. Give it back. There. That was way too close. And the way. We're now going up here. This kind of looks like the uh, final boss area of uh, Squeak Squad, honestly. Except uh, it's not the final boss area at all. But it's the final boss of uh, the main areas, so there's that. Hmm. Kind of interesting, this little spot here. One up. I'm sorry, Shadow Kirby. It was, it was all for the good. I took your life for my own life, I guess. Grab a wax and feed up there. And as usual, it's gotten quiet. What could be the boss of Candy Constellation? I mean, you already know what it is because you actually see it in the title screen. But regardless, you know what's coming. We have Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Now, I personally don't think this was a very good boss to actually end off as like the final area kind of boss. I don't know. I, I think they could have done so much more for a final area. Or at least swapped uh, the places of, you know, Dark Meta Knight's or uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, and uh, Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Because the Master Hand and Crazy Hand, if they were actually in Radish Ruins, would also work kind of like a Mirror World version of Wham Bam Rock and Jewel. But whatever, didn't work out that way. I recommend taking out the Master Hand first, because, well, 
they don't they don't be able to do things like this. And of course they can't combo. Like that. So that's the only thing they can really do is slap and punch, and sometimes get more annoying when they're actually two enemies in the same way trying to face you. It's honestly very easy to dodge. Ah, I, why'd I jump up before I didn't have to do that? And all you could also stop themselves by two fit. Ah, dang it. Now you may think it's gonna get a lot easier once you actually get both of them in here. It's not exactly true. Because once you get rid of one, the other one starts moving a lot faster. Which you're going to see very shortly. Now it starts off quite fine, but once it actually reaches um, half HP, that's when, that's when things start to get kind of interesting. I mean, yes, the attack patterns are the same, however, and if you notice, he also gets high enough to where you could actually just stop yourself, actually, you know, be above your jump radius to wait for him to come down before you actually hit him. See, look at that. Look how quickly he slams and grabs and everything else. So yeah, he's kind of a, kind of a pain. And that's it. We have the final shard in the game. Going to collect that piece right there. And we now have the dimensional mirror restored. So now we could actually have our final battle there in the alternate dimension. For what lies ahead of us in our battles that are wait. Hmm. Who knows? Let me just make sure I got everything here in area 9 first so I don't go crazy. Uh, yep, everything is good. Let me just circle through all the areas first, make sure everything's here. Everything's good there, everything's flashing. I'm pretty sure I've got I'm pretty sure I got everything. Just making sure here. Just wanna double check. Okay, that's good. I mean it doesn't have to double check and I'd be quite mad if I found out I missed something here. Now, I do have a well I do have a practice file on uh, my G on my uh, 3DS version of this. This is the Wii U version in case you're wondering. My 3DS version actually has a practice file, and I actually did make it up to the final boss in that. However, I never actually tested to see if the whole 99% thing takes, or if you need 100% by going through every single door twice. I'll find that out in a blind, on a blind run. So basically when I go through the final boss, I didn't actually wait for the credits to end. So next time, it could be the amazing mirror, we'll be entering the dimensional mirror, finding out what lies in store of us, fight the final boss in the final color, and then I will see if you really need to get 100% by going through every door twice. Pretty sure you don't. But if you do, I'm going to be ticked, and you guys will see that live. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.